welcome back. It's time for three news now. And for that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hi, Steph. Hello, Laura and Isabel. And today we are getting our first look at Ohio's surge initiative in action in the sky in Cleveland. This is video from a helicopter with officers watching as two people try to run from officers in a stolen Kia. This is from the area around Abel Avenue near 135th Street on Tuesday. Troopers in an unmarked car tried to pull the Kia over, but the driver sped off, so the helicopter stayed with the vehicle. The officers in the air watched as the driver and the passenger ditched the car and ran away. And then eventually, they go to a nearby home. That air patrol then told the ground team where they went, and that's where those ground officers arrested them. The driver has since been charged with receiving stolen property, criminal damaging, and fleeing. Air from, uh, from the helicopter, pretty impressive there. All right, now let's talk back to school road rules. In the state of Ohio, the laws about passing a stopped school bus depend on how wide of a road that you're on. So the magic number is four lanes. If the road has less than four lanes, everyone has to stop. That's whether you're driving behind or toward that stopped school bus and you need to stop at least 10 feet from the bus and stay stopped until the bus starts to move or the driver signals that you can go. Now, if you're on a road with four or more lanes, you only have to stop if you're behind the stopped bus. And a school bus might not have its own stop sign that flips out. The driver might just flash lights to signal that you need to stop while kids get on and off the bus. And if you don't stop when you're supposed to, you could be fined up to $500, get two points on your license, or possibly have your license suspended for one year. All right, now, if you're interested in working at Cedar Point, now is your chance because on Wednesday, August 23rd, the park is hosting a hiring event for its fall season. So if you want to apply for a job, show up to the Cedar Point Recruiting Center. That's at 2210 First Street in Sandusky between 5 and 7 p.m. They'll be hiring for positions that pay up to $20 per hour in different areas like food and beverage services, housekeeping and hotel accommodations and ride operations. And Laura and Isabel, if anybody out there loves hollow weekends, they're hiring for daytime family activity hosts and screamsters. Those are the people who work inside the haunted houses and those little outdoor fright zones jump out and give everybody a little thrill. So those are the things that they've got going on. Hollow weekends, very popular. I mean, should I apply? I'm gonna say it sounds kind of fun to just scream <laughs> whatever you want. I'm if you it. do apply, let me know because Please, I want to come out. Send me the application, that. okay? That's perfect. perfect.